Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install Quilt on a Minecraft server. If you have a premium server or a budget server with the advanced support add-on, you can easily install Quilt with a click of a button, which I will first show. If you own a budget server without the advanced support add-on, I will show later how to install Quilt on a server manually. First, from the Bisect Hosting Premium or Budget panel, we're going to stop the server with the red stop button. We are then going to choose the blue jar menu button, and then we're going to select Quilt on the left-hand menu. Then we are going to choose the version we would like. For this example, we're going to use Quilt 1.19.4. You can just toggle that button, and when you do, you will see this screen, which will ask you what to do with the existing server files. For this tutorial, we're just going to delete the current files, but if you know exactly which files you'd like to keep, or if you would like to create an instance, you can do that now. Once that's finished, we can choose the green Start button, start our server, and we'll have Quilt installed on our Minecraft server. I will now go over how to install Quilt on a Minecraft server manually. First, we need to go to quiltmc.org. We're going to choose the Server button. Once here, we're going to choose the purple Universal.jar button, and this will automatically download the installer. Once the installer is downloaded, go ahead and open it, and you'll have this screen. We're going to choose the Server tab. You choose your Minecraft version and Loader version. Once you have those chosen, we're going to choose an install location on our desktop, and then we're going to choose the Install button. Once it's finished installing, we're going to open the folder on our desktop. We can go ahead and open this folder, and here we will see a few files. The one we're focused on is the Quilt Server Launch.jar. We are going to name this jar file depending on which Minecraft version we are going to be using. If you're using Minecraft 1.14 through 1.16, we're going to change this to custom.jar. If you are using Minecraft 1.17, we're going to use custom java 16.jar. And if you are using Minecraft 1.18 or newer, we're going to use custom java 17.jar. Once we have that jar file renamed, we're going to select all the files right click and choose send to compressed zipped folder when this is compressed we can go ahead and minimize this file to use later in the tutorial we can now log into our bisect hosting budget panel and once here we can choose the red stop button to stop our server we are then going to choose the open jar menu button and on the left side we're going to choose custom we are then going to toggle the button next to the applicable version so if we changed ours to custom.jar, we're going to select that button. If we changed it to custom java 16.jar, we're going to change it to custom java 16. And if we changed our jar file to custom java 17, we'll choose the custom java 17 button. Once we toggle this button, we will have to choose what to do with our existing server files. For this file, we're going to choose delete current files. But if you know the exact files you need to keep, or if you'd like to create an instance, you can do so now. Once we're done with that, we're going to go to the File Manager tab on the left-hand side, and we're going to choose the green Upload button. We're then going to drag and drop the .zip file that we minimized from earlier. Once that's done uploading, we can right-click the .zip file and choose Unarchive. We can hit the green button to verify the unarchive, and this will start unarchiving that .zip file to have all the files you need for the server. Once that's done unarchiving, you can go back to the home page, start your server, and you will now have Quilt installed onto your Minecraft server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.